Alrighty, in today's video I am bringing you all a favourite video for March because this month again I have been trying out some amazing new things and a lot of things I have been using on the daily um, and a lot of these I've actually been wanting for a while and now I finally have my hands on them so I am actually very excited to show you guys what I have been enjoying using and wearing etc but yeah but before we get into the video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and without further ado let's go on the video right so starting off with i'll say the more kind of interesting things so if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs or videos you may know that i do like a bit of juicy couture it is very hard to get hold of in tk Maxx stores however I have found something and it is a gorgeous colour. So, one of my favourites is some Juicy Couture joggers in an extra small. They look more like um, a really pale lilac colour, but I'm telling you guys now, they are more kind of brighter purple, but oh my god, so nice. These ones are really cuffed ones because I did try on some flared ones in extra small and they were way, way, they were way too big for me. But these are like the cuffed ones, like the gold detail, it says the Juicy Couture on there. How cute is that? Like it also has the JC on there as well. Yeah, but very nice. And this colour is actually gorgeous. And the last time I went to TK Maxx, I had the matching hoodie to this, but in a size medium. They still had these joggers in the store from last time I went in. So I was over the moon and I am five foot the one and these do actually fit me really well. Maybe slightly baggy, but honestly, I don't really care, but yeah. These have been so comfortable and yeah, they do go really nicely with like yeah, they do go really nicely with like you know, like bodysuits, like crop tops, like baby pink colours, um and even a pop of yellow every now and then, but yeah. So nice and I am now on the hunt to find the matching hoodie. So please keep your eyes peeled guys. I really need to get the matching hoodie. And speaking of I look the Primark gym sets are the ones to go for right now and I have been wearing them all the time. Fun fact, I actually have one on now and it's so nice. Pink top and pink cycling shorts. Honestly, so, so blooming comfortable and I do have two Primark sets now. So I have this pink one and then I also have a gorgeous lilac colour. So in real life, the juicy joggers are more like this colour but maybe slightly brighter this is you know, this kind of style top this is slightly longer sleeves whereas this one is just like like the kind of race one which i do like selfishly they do have the matching kind of uh, second shorts of these but i don't know where they are but yeah so comfortable and it's actually three pound fifty per item it's like you know, the top is three fifty and then the second shorts are three fifty and they are not see-through so 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 super comfortable and very the good quality and are a really good cheap for the bone tea sets so if you want to kind of test out the primark ones in case you want to get like bone tea highly recommend and super affordable and like you can wear these for the gym wearing for walks everything and i have been absolutely living in these if you guys don't know me and scott we went to croatia we did actually nip into duty free on the way back and i grabbed myself a chloe perfume I really couldn't tell you which type of perfume this is. Um, like it's like the orangey scent. It's got the peachy kind of ribbon on the side, and this does smell kind of orangey, but very florally as well. And it's such a classy perfume. And Chloe is coming very into trend now. The bottle is so cute. This has been sat on in my little perfume dish, and it fits in very well. And it smells gorgeous. You don't have to smell this for yourself. And this was around £50 in duty free. But yeah, it's a really lovely little scent. And this is a 50ml. So a quite a good size perfume, I'd say. But now, skincare. I do sometimes struggle with my skin. You know, with spots and blackheads. And I do kind of find it hard to stick to something. However, the P. Louise Texture Treatment. It, the P. Louise skin she's brought out her own kind of skincare range. This is a cleanser and like it has bits of like I wouldn't even know like they're not sharp. It's kind of like this like seaweedy type 
me a thing in it and oh my god it has made my skin clear up so well i've never had really bad skin however i do occasionally get a few spots but oh my god this has definitely kind of calmed my skin down i rarely get any spots and this is around 30 pounds so quite expensive but oh my god i've tried CeraVe cleansers i have tried the Garnier Simple and nothing has ever made my skin feel and look the way it does now so it's definitely worth investing in and P. Louise we should just work hardest to make products that actually work and I do believe in this product a lot like it is so nice so so nice and of course packaging is really cute this is something I've been using since the start of this month actually because I took it on holiday and I was impressed so I've been using it for around 20 days now and I'm happy as ever. I think I might have mentioned this in my last favourite video but I've been fake tanning a lot more now and I've been using my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Punjab and this is my fake tan shade. This may be light to some people, this is my fake tan shade. The coverage in this foundation, it isn't too heavy but like it isn't too light either. It's like a perfect combination of kind of building up to like build the coverage up and oh my god it makes my skin so smooth looking and I never look as oily with it on anyway and like it is quite pricey but yeah, luckily I do get a anyway, discount because I make makeup artist which is a good saving I think it is £37 but I think I get it for like 25 so still quite pricey but it's a really good foundation and worth investing if you want to have a smooth flawless looking face and I got this for my birthday and I still have a lot left it's really good foundation. I've never actually tried the sheer glow ones, but this one is so good. And speaking of makeup products, I've been really getting into the, the Hoola bronzer. This I used to hate. I think it's because I went through a stage of not really knowing how to apply bronzer properly. I've been getting into this again and it's just like the perfect bronzer for just kind of putting on it's kind of runs your face up you don't really have a lot of makeup on or like what like a heavy kind of contoured look it's so good and like it's a really nice shade I'm obsessed with that so 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 good and then also tie lashes bitches back eyelashes They're not too heavy compared to the ones i have on my eyes at the moment because i think i'm actually wearing tl1 on my eyes at the moment but these ones are so nice um and they're very easy to wear and don't like they never make your eyes feel heavy either so i'm yeah I'm happy with them. The tatty eyelashes are honestly my favourite. I could never live without them. And then final makeup product. <laughs> I just have this on my lips at the moment. It is a Too Faced Melted Latex lipstick. I was nearly going to say like the lipstick and gloss because like it is in the middle of a lipstick and a gloss and this shade is absolutely beautiful. It is a shade Hopeless Romantic but oh my god if you want a perfect pale nude colour this is the one. Look so blooming gorgeous i love it my dior trainers i love them so much if you're not you watch my latest uh dhk haul you need to i think it'll already be up actually i will find it for you all let's have a look and see because it'll be already be up on my channel here it is uh, please make sure to watch oh, we'll turn the brightness up uh, please make sure to watch if you haven't already subscribe as well if you're new yeah but anyway these uh, trainers have been so comfortable they're very easily wipeable as well because I, i've been wearing these to work at the salon only because they are a plasticky material and if i got a bit of makeup on them i could clean it up no problem whereas if i was wearing my balenciagas or like or converses if i got any makeup on them it most likely stay in them are so comfortable that they have not rubbed to me either yet so i'm a happy gal again final item for this uh, favorite video my dior hoodie i've been wearing this all the time and i have got a bit of makeup on it only a tiny bit but oh my god this hoodie is so comfortable it isn't too thin it isn't too thick it is in the middle it goes to her thing and like the floral embroidering is absolutely stunning but yes i'm very happy with that because obviously white hoodies are a key essential to 
the woman's wardrobe <laughs> and yeah this honestly goes with anything and I was debating wearing it in today's video but I feel as if I wouldn't have made you know, much of an effort if I had it on you know, but this set is just absolutely stunning I love it so much you know but yeah but I highly recommend and this is also on the my DHG haul video and like if you want a link to this you know, feel free to message me because like I can always give you uh what's it called a link to this item because like there are like all the designs of this hoodie but I think this is my favourite like it is a really cute florally you know yeah but anyway guys I think I have showed you all of my kind of favourites this month I believe if you guys have like anything that you've seen in this video please make sure to leave a comment and also leave a also leave a thumbs up of course because yeah, why wouldn't you do that? Also, please make sure to subscribe because we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.